Today I'm using this Radian Seagull brand and 100% acrylic. I will be using this 5.5 millimeter hook. Let's dive in. I'm hoping you have a measuring tape because we need our measurements for this piece. We will be taking uh, measurements of shoulder to shoulder, then shoulder to knee, shoulder to hand or arm measurements, hip measurements, chest measurements. I'm going to double my yarn because it's quite thin. I want it a bit thicker. But if you have yarn that is a bit thick, then you please you can use that. So me, I want this red and I'm going to double mine. Make a loop. Enter the hook in the loop you have created. And you're going to chain 101. I'm working on a size small, so I'm going to chain 101. That's the height of my dress. But if you're medium size and plus size, check my description for measurements. I'm done with my chain of 101. I'm going to do a plus two, that is chain one, two. We are working a half double crochet, wrap your yarn around the hook, skip two loops into the third, and put a half double crochet. Wrap your yarn, go into the next loop, pull through, pull through all, that's our half double crochet. Go into the next, pull through, pull through all. You are going to work a half double crochet on the entire chain. It looks like this. I'll meet you at the end. I'm getting to the end of this row. I have two loops left. My row one is done. We are going to the next row. Chain one, two, turn your work. Work from the very first loop, this loop with a half double crochet. Enter this first loop with a half double crochet and continue working a half double crochet until you reach the end of this row. I'm at the end of my second row of half double crochet. And this is my last loop of this row. Put a half double crochet like that. Chain one, two, turn your work. You're starting from the very first loop with a half double crochet. You're going to continue working a half double crochet until you have a total of 40 rows. So I'm going to work mine offline and I'll meet you when I have them complete. 
I'm getting done with my 40th row of half double crochets. This is my last loop. Chain, you're going to chain one and cut off the yarn. This is our first part. We are going to we are going to need two of these. I'm going to work the second one, but I'm going to summarize it for you because it's the same process. You're going to repeat it and make sure you have two of them, separate pieces of 40 rows. Let's work on that. I'm going to meet you when I have the second one. This is my second piece. It's also 40 rows and it's ready. We are now going to work on the arms. Make a loop. Enter your hook in the loop. You're going to make a chain of 60. My chain of 60 is ready. We are going to do a plus two. One, two. One, two, three. We are working in this third loop. Wrap your hand around the hooks. Count one, two. Come into the third loop with a half double crochet. The same thing that we did on the front and back of our piece is what we are repeating. We are working with a half double crochet. I'm going to meet you at the end of this row. I'm at the end. I have one loop left. Enter a half double crochet. Chain two. Turn your work, start from the very first loop with a half double crochet and go into the next with a half double crochet. You're going to continue working a half double crochet, the same thing we did to the front and the back until you have a total of 40 rows. I am going to work mine off camera. I'll meet you when I'm done with it. Um, at the end of my 40th row of this piece, this is my last loop, sorry. Chain one and cut off the yarn. My piece is ready. You're going to work a second one. This is the arm of our sweater dress. I have my second piece already made. You're going to work your other piece as well. And then we'll continue from there. So I have my four pieces. This is the front piece and the back piece. They are two pieces plus the one for the arms. They are also two pieces. So make sure you have, I, I meet you when you have four pieces, two for the arm and two for front and back. We are now going to stitch our pieces together. Get, get your needle. This is mine. And you're going to enter your yarn, just one strut. This is always the hardest part for me.
you're going to tie off the ends because I'm going to use it when it's doubled. We are first going to fix the arms. So I'm going to join this together to make it all round. Look for the good side of your piece and the bad side so that you know where to work from. So this is mine. I'm going to put these two together. I get my needle. Pass it through both loops, both first loops. And pull through. I pass my needle usually where I did the knot in the below to avoid it from opening. You're going to stitch this together loop to loop, loop to loop until it's totally closed off. I'm at the end, I have like three loops left to stitch together. You're going to do the same thing to the arm, the other one. I'm not going to show you, so do the same thing to the other arm as well. Then I'll meet you when they are, you have both ready. And cut it off. Get your front and back piece. You see mine. I've put stitch markers on areas where I know I'm going to close off. And my neck area. I've identified my neck area. So count your stitch markers from here to there. Mine, this and that. There were 12. I did 12 rows for each side. So I'm going to start from this one. Remove the marker and you're going to close off i counted 12 rows like i said the rest of the sizes i'm going to put everything down in the description use it for guidance i'm going to close off to define my neck area I'm going to work to stitch twice in each half double crochet. In each half double crochet, I'm going to pass my needle twice. I'm done, so I'm going to close off. You're going to do the same thing on the other side of the stitch marker, the 12 rows. Cut off the yarn. So this is closed off. You can see. Do the same thing here. I'm going to work it off camera. Check the wrong side of your piece. This is mine this i'm now going to attach the arms to the main piece get your needle thread i'm not going to close this off yet i'm first going to attach the arm and then i close it off after so enter your I hope you've entered your thread. I already have mine entered. You'll excuse me for that. So come work this to this. No, I want the stitch to be below. Enter. 
make sure you you count each double crochet that you enter because both sides of the arm have to have the same measurement in each double crochet i'm, I'm going to enter twice the the stitch on the arm is not direct with the double crochets here so in each double crochet on the main piece in the each loop of the main piece i'm entering twice in the arms half double crochet if that makes sense I'm going to work mine to fasten it so that I'm a, I don't make this video very long. I'm reaching close to the part where I joined together my arm. It's the same part where I'm going to turn to the other side. like that now i'm going to turn my piece the other side because like i said i was going to do the joining this side after i've attached the arm you're going to count these the stitches where you stitch the other side to make sure they are equal with this side so i'm counting mine It's where I'm putting my stitch marker. The other side was 33 and here I've done 33 as well. So I'm going to enter this loop where I'd put my stitch marker. And at the base of, yes. And you're going to continue now circling, attaching your your piece this was to help you make sure you exact so that your your arm is not different the other side of the arm is not different from this side i'm going to fasten this video as well because i'm running out of time again i'm at the end you're going to do the same thing on the other side of our sweater dress i'm closing off here so that we go on something else This is it. Cut off the yarn. And now you're going to continue at the lower end of the piece. This is it. It looks gorgeous as it is already. We are now going to continue now closing off the lower end. I just had to make sure they are equal. Now I'm going to work this until 
I close off the entire space. You're going to do the same thing on the other side of the dress. Attach the arm, then close this place off. So you're going to enter each loop to loop, the other loop on the other side of the piece, the front loop and the back loop. You're going to keep attaching them together until you reach at the end. I have a few loops left, one more, and I close off. And I cut off the yarn. This is how it looks, you see, it's so beautiful. You're going to do the same thing this side and i'm going to do mine off camera i'll meet you when it's all ready the attachment is all ready and it's so gorgeous already i've run out of the red yarn i'm going to be using this cinnamon brown to continue my work i hope it blends in well but you can continue using red ignore my color choice and uh, now we are going to be working on the turtle neck of our piece i'm still going to double my yarn because i still want my yarn a bit thicker like this make a loop Enter your hook in the loop that you've created. Sorry. You're going to chain 40. This is my chain of 40. You're going to add a plus 2 one then two one two you're going to skip the first two loops work into the third with a half double crochet sorry one two come into the third loop with a half double crochet Continue working a half double crochet on the entire chain. And on this neck turtle we are working on, we are going to be using the back loops. I'm going to meet you at the end of this row. I'm at the end of my row one. I have one loop left. Chain one, two, turn your work. This time we're working from the back loops, these back loops, these, not the front loops, but the back loops, these ones. You're going to start from the very first loop with a half double crochet, the very first back loop like that and continue working half double crochets from the back loops I'll meet you at the end of my row I'm at the end of my row I have one loop left at the back Put a half double crochet like this. This is a gorgeous color. 
chain one, two, turn your work, wrap your yarn, work from the back loop with a half double crochet. So you're going to continue working from the back loops until you have a total of 40 half double crochets. I'm at the end of my 40th row of half double crochet. I have one loop left. Chain one and you're going to cut off this yarn. Oh my god, this color is so beautiful. Damn. So this is our tattoo neck. We are going to join this together using a needle. Look for the wrong side and the right side of your piece and then get your needle put in the make sure the thread is in the same thread not color red or if you're not switching yeah get your needle enter but you're using the first row you're using the back loop enter close off that so you're going to join using back loops so you're going to stitch this together i'll meet you at the end i'm at the end i'm finalizing with my stitching this is it lock off this part and cut it off cut the yarn off oh my god we are going to now do a cleanup on of our neck because i'm not going to stitch this neck on the top if you want you can stitch yours since mine is a different color i'm not going to stitch it but if you want you can stitch yours i think i prefer mine not attached completely because i can always switch if i want to match a, a red outfit i do a red outfit so enter the first loop chain one you're going to work a single crochet all around in each row you're going to work two single crochets I'm at the end. This is my last single crochet. I'm going to slip stitch with the very first single crochet that I made or a, a chain one. Then chain one and cut off the yarn. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. This is gorgeous. You're going to work the same thing on this side of the piece. I'm Here we are. My tattoo neck is ready. If you want, you can attach yours, but I'm not going to attach mine. I'm just going to be wearing it just in case I want to change, put a different color on this outfit. I'm leaving room for that. Now we are going to work on the belt of our piece but if you want you can wear it without it's really it has several fashions so make a loop I've already made mine you're going to make a chain of 10 plus 2 this is like your first half double crochet come in the third loop with a half double crochet work a half double crochet on the entire chain
I'm at the end this is our first row chain one two you're not working in the back loops you're working no more half double crochet start from the first loop and continue working you're going to make your waist as long as you want I haven't cleaned down all, all over my piece. Please do clean ups with a single crochet. It's because I'm out of red yarn and I don't want to spoil my piece. But this is it. It's ready. Clean up the neck. Clean clean up the the knee area, the arm area. And yep, we are done. Thank you guys for being my biggest support. This is our tattoo neck. I'm hoping you have yours in red. If you have enough yarn, I tried to purchase more, but it was out of stock. And this is our belt. And I'm hoping yours is red or any other color of your choice. This is it. As simple as that, but it's so smart and so gorgeous. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.